in our application process, the greatest emphasis is placed on a student's academic program and profile. We're also very interested to know what others have to say about her. And the recommendations we receive from teachers and the college counselor or guidance counselor are very important in this process. SATs are also an important part of Wellesley's process. I can say, honestly, they are not more important than the student's academic program and profile and the kinds of courses she's chosen to take. There are, I think, some, some do's and don'ts when it, when it comes to essays. Um, humor is always appreciated in, in an essay, although if a student isn't a comedian, this isn't the right time to test the waters for stand-up comedy. What we're trying to, to get from the essay really is a sense of authenticity, a sense of how a student has evolved evolved over time, um, how she's grown, how she's perhaps responded to setbacks or conflict or, um, or what brought her joy. There isn't a, a particular kind of essay that we're looking for, um, but we're looking for something that helps us understand a student a little bit better. Wellesley is one of a handful of, of colleges and universities now that is completely need blind in its admission process. And what that means is that when the admission committee is making decisions about students and about who to admit, we're basing our decision solely on a student's academic performance, uh, about what she's contributed to her community, her personal qualities and characteristics, that combination of pieces, and we're not paying attention, nor do we have any knowledge of, what the family's ability to pay is. Admission decisions are made first, and then once the class is admitted, the financial aid staff is involved in making decisions about financial aid awards. 